What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to Vega Conflict. But before you can warm up your jump drives and warp out into the unknown galaxy and explore the depths and fun in Vega Conflict and create your own individual fleet fittings, we need to get yourself some really basic and important tech, okay? And you get that by collecting some blueprints from different tier levels. Um, and I'm going to provide you with the necessary information to get the tier 1 blueprints as fast and as easy as humanly possible. So let's jump right into this. This is what the blueprint section looks like. 20 to 25 cargo fleets in the planet orbit, okay? But you won't be fighting 25s because they are too tough. You can only take 20 and 23 with this auto farming fleet here, okay? And the most important blueprints are going to be thermal beams and hydra missiles because both are important for later and higher farming fleets and PvP. Which is what you're gonna need both in the future, obviously. <laughs> Alright, and for this, you don't farm in the sector view, like on the outside of the planet. You farm on the planet orbit and you find yourself some level 23 cargo fleet or level 20. If you have not found, uh, added this button right here, you can find one and click tag. Then you will uh, get, get this button that allows you to immediately find a fleet that is somewhere flying around on the planet's orbit, okay? And uh, if you attack it, you don't even have to watch the combat. The only reason we're doing it here is to show you how, it, uh, how the combat will look like. The AI mode is here on, and I deselect all the ships just so you can enjoy the combat. Uh, we have the wedge formation, as you can see here, you unlock that with fleet by level 3. But uh, later on in the video and also in the video description is all the requirements and the research you need in order to get this fleet working as fast as possible. Okay, So uh, there you obviously can also see what you need for this. And uh, yeah, they split up very well and they take out the fleet, the enemy fleet very well. All the fleets tech, as, tech, as you can see here, is regular technique and regular research. And it's early tech. You don't have to research a lot. It's just, basically, it's the fastest way to destroy these fleets here in auto mode. And that's the most important thing. Once you have destroyed those fleets, you will get the 402 thousand uh, resources and almost 400 loot when there is a riot going on like this is the case right here okay um, you can use the points then to acquire uh, prices in the riot all right so this is one way to use it otherwise the points will not be granted when there's no riot but you will still get the resources depending on what kind of fleet you took out is it a blue blue dot then it means that um, it's going to be mineral or is it a yellow dot it means that it's helium inside after the fleet kill, it's only 55,000 resources in this fleet, so which means you have almost gotten everything out of it, okay? So, you can warp home with your fleet, it's damaged, you have lost a couple of ships, sometimes you lose four of them, sometimes you only lose two, but um, you will lose a couple of ships, but it's not a problem since the way I showed you before, wow, this time we didn't even lose one ship, before I showed you, you just remove as many ships as it uh, takes in order to get the free instant repair button. Put it back in and free instant repair and you're done. Sometimes you have to do that three times or so in order to uh, to have your fleet fully repaired and sometimes it's really quick like in this case. But important is don't farm higher than level 23. And also important, you cannot farm anything that has the name Rebel or uh, Antimatter Fleet. Like uh, here you can see the fleets that are Antimatter, okay, with the violet dot at the end. Those fleets cannot be taken on by this fleet and also everything that has the, the name Rebel in front of it. Cargo fleets up to level 23 you can take on easily and from level 20 to 23 they will drop the blueprints you're looking for. Alright, and this right here is episode 1 of those Vega Conflict walkthroughs. Obviously there's going to be next and more episodes coming with all the next steps for tier 2 blueprints, tier 3 and uh, event farming fleets and all this, okay? I make sure to put all these videos in a video playlist where you find the second link in the video description to get the to the playlist, okay? To find all those important videos for you. Um, the requirements or things that you need for this episode right here, they are listed here. Um, obviously those are at least the requirements you need for the next episodes too, but then with higher levels, okay? Uh, in this case we need at least, si at least 6 Genesis cruisers with Shockwave Shield level 2, Rear Thrusters level 3, Basic Cargo level 2, or better yet level 3, um, Playsteel Armor level 1 once, and Hex, hex Missiles 2 once and Hex Missiles 1 once, okay? The fleet characteristics is it takes less than 8 hours to build one of those entire fleets uh, from scratch with the ship and the equipment and I would advise you guys to build at least 3 of those fleets to operate them at the same time and be more efficient. Individual ship repairs 4 minutes and 55 seconds so free instant and we collect around 402,000 resources in one run, okay? Uh, when used basic cargo level 3 that is. Uh, we need a bridge on level 2 with fleet bay on level 5, 
Fleet Base 6 if you want to use uh, Basic Cargo Level 3, uh, Ship Factory Level 3, Ship Lab Level 3, uh, Tech Lab Level 4 and Arms Lab Level 4. And once again here Arms Lab Level 5 if you want to be using Basic Cargo Level 3. Which is what I would advise you guys to get as fast as possible, okay? Then, uh, as in terms of research and equipment, we need um, Scatter Missiles 2 researched, Genesis Cruisers obviously, Hex Missiles 1 and 2, Rear Thrusters 1, 2 and 3, and we need Basic Cargo 1, 2, and better yet, 3, okay? My advice, build yourself 3 of those fleets, I've said that already, and also get yourself to uh, Ship Lab 5 and uh, Fleet Bay fi uh, 6 to get to the uh, Basic Cargo level 3, and... Um, use the tag button here to find fleets as fast as possible. You click the button once and you get immediately shown where one is. That's very important, okay? For this you just click one of those fleets and hit the button tag down there and you will have them tagged. Okay, and uh, FAQ, do not hit fleets that are not that are labeled with the name Rebel in front of it, at least no fleets that are level 17 or higher. Below 17 it might work, I haven't tried it, but um, if, you, if you, you cannot hit level 20, 23 Rebel something fleets, okay, it won't work. And um, against antimatter fleets, the ones with a violet dot, it also doesn't work, okay. So, that's it, just hit level 20 and 23 Rebel fleets and uh, yeah. And one or two more tips for those who start Vega Conflict right here. There's an important and very, very good, nice site out there. It's called the Vega Ship Calculator, okay? It allows you to, um, to quickly choose any ship from the game list and uh, equip it the way you want it to equip. And you can check out how much mass is left, what's the repair time of the fleet and, and all this, okay? The person in charge of this site, it's Top Gear, he puts so much time and effort into this and um, you have to disable the ad block in order to use the site and if you could at least click one of the ads of his site, uh, then it would be, uh, well, he, he leaves the server running for you guys to use this site and we are all using it very often. So the least we can do is at least click one ad every time we visit the site. It helps him immensely, okay? And if you want to be helping me out because I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos in the future helping you as best as I can and if you feel like it's uh, appropriate to help me out a bit then uh, there's this first link in any video description leading you to my patreon page where you can see uh, how much patreons we already have what we achieve and what the next milestone goals are currently the next one will be live streaming with me and uh, yeah if you want to be helping me this is the best way you can do that and I would greatly appreciate that and also there's a couple of uh, perks down here that I chose uh, on how to guy how to reward you guys uh, for your assistance and your trust in me all right so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more thanks for bearing with me you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye <laughs>